welcome to bsc statistics students in this lesson i explain canonical form of linear programming problem we have two forms uh, of linear programming problem canonical form and standard form so now i explain canonical form what is the canonical form of linear programming problem the objective function must be in maximization type and uh, constraints constraints must be less than required and uh, non negative restrictions which are always greater than equal to zero so therefore these are the three important properties we can call it of, the, of the canonical form of linear programming problem right so now i write uh, one by one the linear programming problem canonical form is going to be considered as maximize z is equal to objective function c1 x1 plus c2 x2 plus and so on plus c n x n this is what the objective function and uh, subject to the constraints that's what we write and, and then subject to the constraints the constraints are going to be expressed uh, as a11 x1 plus a12 x2 plus and so on plus a1 and xn is less than or equal to b1 right hand side constants a uh, constants of b1 b1 b2 bm now uh, a21 x1 plus a22 x2 plus and so on plus a2n xn is le less than or equal to b2 and so on we can write a m1 x1 plus a m2 x2 plus n so on plus a m n x n is less than or equal to b n these are the constraints m constraints in n decision variables x1 x2 x n right so first constraint second constraint and so on m constraint these are m constraints which must be less than or equal to that is what the uh, in the linear programming problem in general we may have less than or equal to or greater than or equal to or equal to but in the canonical form which must be less than or equal to which means for example if a particular constraint it is given greater than or equal to you have to multiply with uh, minus 1 and then you have to convert into in terms of less than or equal to like that uh, the canonical form if you want to express in canonical form we must have to convert all the constraints into less than or equal to type next and non negative restrictions non negative restriction as usual restrictions non negative restrictions which are all which can which are specified as x1 greater than or equal to 0 x2 greater than or equal to 0 and so on xn greater than or equal to 0 that is as usual the all the variables addition variables x1 x2 xn which are greater than or equal to 0 so this kind of uh, formation is nothing but of lpp is nothing but canonical form of linear programming problem do you understand what are the properties property number 1 objective function must be maximization property number 2 the constraints must be of less than or equal to property number 3 uh, non negative restriction that is all the variables uh, must be greater than or equal to 0 right thank you